Hey guys, I am back with book four of the Drake Sister series. This book is called Dangerous Tides. Now this book is about the fourth sister, of course. It's, her name is Libby. Libby is a healer. So what she can do is she can heal people's um, injuries and things from the inside out to um, get them better very fast. I will say this, I believe Libby is an empath, so she has a almost impossible urge to heal people, even her sisters, and it just, for me, I would, would never want that responsibility because she completely drains herself. Now, her heroine, or he, I'm sorry, her hero in this book's name is Tyson. Tyson is a bona fide genius. He's an adrenaline junkie. Like, he is a stud and a Pulitzer Prize, or no, I'm sorry, a Nobel Prize winner wrapped up in one. He's what we call a threat. Abigail, I'm not sorry, not Abigail, I'm sorry. Libby has always loved Tyson. And she's always thought that he just mocked her, was never interested in her. Tyson has always cared for Libby. But Tyson, I would say, I don't know if this is true. I would say he has Asperger's, where he's not socially upset. Like, he doesn't follow normal social cues. Then I don't know if it's just because he isolated himself or that's how he would have ticked out. I don't know. But even Libby's like, yo, um, we're going to have problems here and there, but we're, I'm going to work it out with you. So the gist of the story is Tyson works as a researcher in a biochemistry lab, biomed lab, and every once in a while he goes out and he um, goes on a, a rescue team, like a helicopter rescue team. Well, he's on a call and his equipment fails and he just splatters. And he's to the point of death and they're like, yo, he's going to be brain damaged, his brain's gone. Libby's in the hospital when he comes in and Libby completely heals him well. In doing so, Libby makes herself sick. I'm going to stop at this point. I don't want to say anything else. I will say this book is a turning point where the mystery and kind of intrigue kind of go one on one with the supernatural element, which I really liked. Um, I will say Abigail's book, book three, is still one of my favorites. I don't know why. But Libby and Tyson's book is definitely good. I would definitely read it. And... Um, just give the Drake sisters a try. She has two other series that get tied into this one. And I would say definitely you don't have to read the other series, but it sort of helps if you've been a long-term reader because you kind of pick out little things that you're like, oh, was this it? Or was this it? Um, you get a repeat of some of the characters in this book, one of which is Jonas, and I love Jonas. I've got questions about Jonas, but when... And if his book comes, I will definitely let you know. Okay, guys, I have a playlist of all the books that I've read. So go check out all the books. There's several books in there. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.